Hey everyone, it's Andrew here from Living the Northern Life. I've set up a little table and uh, we're gonna try to learn how to use our honing guide and uh, how to sharpen some chisels. And I also have a sharpening stone uh, that I need to get clean because it looks like it might be covered in some grease. So I got a 22 ounce container. I took two ounces of the Simple Green and I just filled the bottle up, but it really calls for uh, 20 ounces of distilled water uh, to make this solution. Um, I watched this from Bar Tools. Uh, this is how he lubricates and cleans his diamond uh, sharpening stones, but I'm going to go clean a sharpening stone, just a regular sharpening stone now. Here's the sharpening stone. I'm just going to spray it and uh, I might take it outside, get a diamond stone and see if I can flatten it out. This sharpening stone was sitting uh, close to a stove and has uh, like bacon grease and that kind of stuff all over it. So I'm just trying to give it a clean Go give that a try. I'm just building myself a little makeshift table here so I've got a platform to work off of. All right, so I've got my uh, dual sharp uh, diamond sharpeners. This is a coarse, extra coarse, and a fine, extra fine, uh, as you can see. Uh, these are the ones that I got off of uh, Amazon. I'll have a link down below. Um, I haven't used them before. I need to take them out of the box. And we're going to use the coarse, extra coarse, to try to flatten the stone. Uh, but as we're doing that, we're going to spray the simple green on it uh, to keep it all lubricated. Inside, there's instructions on how to use it. Uh, should probably spend a few minutes to look at that. And there are some rubber feet that we can uh, mount on the bottom here so it doesn't slide. So we'll spend a second, get that done. Well, that was easy enough. And according to the box, there is all the different descriptions about the coarseness on it. And the blade also has the dots on each side. Uh, we just unpinch that, pull it out. And the other side is a black. So that is the extra course and the blue is the course. So we'll just put that together. This is an eight inch one. It looks like it can also hold a 10 inch. I'm going to spend a second and flip these both over because this is the uh, coarse and fine and I want to start with the extra coarse and then I'll flip it to the coarse and then I'll start with the fine and extra fine so I'm just going to flip that over now. I am absolutely certain that I'm going to get these all screwed up but uh, we've so far so good. I'm going to set the fine extra fine aside Put that back in the box. The reason we're doing this is to make sure that there's no uh, 
curves in the stone. And I can see that there are a few flat spots, so I'm just gonna keep going with it. Actually, this stone is not very bad at all. Do the other side. And it looks like it's evenly scratched all over the place as well, so there's no real dips in it. And we'll start with the extra, or the, the coarse side now. Yeah, it certainly does look way better. All right, well, this is just a simple sharpening, sharpening stone. I think it's probably as good as I need to get it. Um, so we'll leave this one alone and uh, maybe I'll bring out a chisel and we'll tackle that. So this is a ch chisel that needs sharpening. I bought it from Bar Tools and uh, we had it, we were trying to do the mailbox post, so I'll put a link up to there. Uh, it wasn't very sharp, so this is why I bought these sharpening stones. It took uh, months for them to come in. Um, it was very expensive, and I'm looking forward to sharpening this one, but I'm not going to sharpen this one right now. I need to gain just a little bit of experience. Uh, so I do have a much less expensive Black & Decker, um, I think it's a half, yeah, it's a half inch uh, chisel. Uh, we're going to learn to practice on that. So I'll get this flip back over to the uh, extra course and we'll go from there. All right, that's all set up. Now I did learn another little trick about making sure that you've got the whole chisel uh, sharpened. So I brought out my handy dandy little, let's put that down before an accident happens. I have a Sharpie here. I'm just going to paint the chisel and then as I'm uh, sharpening it the sharpie will get rubbed away I'm just gonna let it dry wow that course is really coarse okay so now we've got that one really all the uh, all the sharpie is off of it already I'm going to flip it over to the coarse and maybe I don't need to be coarse extra coarse maybe I should be fine extra fine I'm not sure this is my first time doing this so I'm kind of learning along with you guys there was a lot of grease on this because it's all over the place I don't feel a burr on the back of that yet. But it is getting to be nice and sharp, that's for sure. Okay, I'm gonna move this one aside. Move over to the fine, extra fine. Give this a spray. Just so there's some lubrication in there. And I can even, I think I can do this. We'll paint the end again. You can see it's all nice black painted. And now, make sure that we've got the right angle on it. I feel a little burr on the bottom there now. I can just give it a little clean on the end. It's nice and sharp there now. But the idea is that we get it really sharp so that it does an excellent job. That is really sharp now. Okay, I'm gonna just flatten the back. These ch chisels have never been sharpened, so. I can see that everything is, you know, I can see the scratch marks in it from me doing that. And it's really sharp here. Now, I do have a, um, a honing powder and uh, some leather. Uh, I don't have that set up out here. Uh, 
I think it's about to rain. Anyway, I just don't want it to get wet and stretch the leather and all that stuff. I've got no experience in that. So I'm going to kind of practice that. But I'm going to set this guy aside and I, I am going to tackle this, this uh, big chisel here. So I'm going to flip this back over to the fine so that it's ready to go. So you know what, I'm not going to flip that over to course because I don't think it needs it. Uh, I'm going to paint it though. And I have one other toy for this. Okay, so my new toy is a Veritas uh, honing guide and uh, just watched a video on it. I have no experience at using this thing, um, but I'm going to give this a shot and uh, see where we go. So the first thing I want to do is I want to set this in standard to 30 degrees, which is the yellow on the registration guide. Next, I'm just going to slide that on the registration guide. And there are quarter inch marks. Actually, there are eight inch marks uh, starting here and working their way up to about two and a half inches. Um, so there is a little arrow on the registration guide and I set it at two and a quarter, two and a half. Yeah, I set it at two and a half and then I'm going to take my chisel blade side down and I'm going to match this up so that it's square. Now it is a little bit awkward. I'm going to turn these dials, press the blade up to the stop and make sure it's square and then turn the dials to make sure it's evenly tight to hold the chisel. I'm just going to confirm or try to confirm. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Now that that's, the depth is set for the right angle, it's uh, square, it should be square now. So I can take off the registration guide and I just un, uh, loosen it up and just slide it off. I have already put um, Sharpie on the end like I did the other ones. And I brought my other box out just to confirm I've got the right one. So I need, the, we're not going to use the extra coarse because it's fairly sharp. So we're going to use the coarse and then the fine extra fine. So let's move the fine extra fine out of the way and we will spray uh, some lubricant on the coarse side. I'm going to make sure that my wheel is free rolling so that it doesn't jam and uh, build a flat spot in it. <laughs> I'm nervous. It's a very expensive um, uh, chisel and so I just want to get it right. So I have my thumbs behind. My fingers are pressing down on the, on the chisel itself and now I'm just pushing. So I'm just going to check it out to see what we're looking like. And so I'm getting the blade, but I'm not, it's not totally square. So I'm going to check it for square again and put my registration guide back on. Tighten it up.
Yeah, it looks like it is. I'm just going to loosen this up a bit to make sure that it is square. It's a little bit awkward because I'm not used to this. And again, I'm trying to tighten it up the same on both sides so that it's across and holding the chisel uh, squarely as it can. And the registration guide will come off. Give this another squirt. And we will try this again. My fingers are in the right spots. Actually, so now it's grinding correctly, so I must not have had the chisel square. Okay, yeah, so I've got a, an edge on the back, and now I'm gonna switch to the other, the fine. Spray. Put some more Sharpie on the end. And now we'll hit it with the, the fine again. It looks pretty even all the way across. And it's much sharper now. Just gonna give a couple more strokes and then I'll switch to the extra fine. So now I believe that this chisel is done uh, with this. I'm going to take the honing guide off and I'm just going to put the back of the chisel on the extra fine and slide it around until uh, that end is gone. I just want to make sure, yeah, that's gone. That seems a lot sharper than it was. So I'm just gonna grab a, uh, one of my four by fours that I was using and uh, just see if this is uh, sharp enough for me to use. Okay, so I've got my four by four from my fence or my sign post. Uh, I'm not gonna finish this today. I just wanna make sure that my chisel is uh, a lot sharper than what it was. So I'm just gonna take a few little notches out of here and we'll wrap up this video. Well, it definitely is sharper. Um, it was a lot sharper. All right, well, that's it for now, guys. I still have tons to learn. Uh, I need to be able to get out here and get some more experience, and that's why we're working on stuff like this. Um, if you have any questions, uh, please leave them down in the comments below. Uh, I'm sure that there are others out there that have some uh, some suggestions on how to make this a little bit better. Uh, I haven't been able to get back into my timber, timber framing stuff. We've got lots of different projects on the go, and uh, but my heart is really set on, on getting to the timber framing. So I do have some other 8x8s and 6x6s, and I really think that using 3.5 inch timber uh, is a little bit small uh, for doing what we're doing but I'm just trying to practice here. So um, if you like this video, uh, watching me learn how to use the Veritas honing guide and uh, you uh, are interested in that kind of stuff, uh, remember to like the video and please subscribe. We're looking for new subscribers all the time. Um, we're coming up on 200, it's been amazing. And uh, we hope that you guys join us as well. All right guys, until the next one, keep living the Northern life. Thanks for watching Live in the Northern Life. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and our website. Remember to click subscribe.
click that bell notification and give us a thumbs up for the videos you like.